Anyway, welcome. Tonight we are playing Constance, which I only found out about yesterday, but I saw the artwork, I saw a trailer for it, and I thought, ooh, this actually looks really nice. And I checked the Steam page, and I found out that it was all hand-drawn. It's a hand-drawn action-adventure game featuring a paintbrush-wielding artist striving to escape from a colorful but decaying inner world created by her declining mental health. That's interesting because that's something that I'm noticing a little bit more lately is that issues of mental health are working their way into the fabric of games, and that's not a complaint, that's merely an observation. But some of the game features, you get to become paint, utilize paint-based mechanics. That was something else that I saw that was really interesting. Uh, to experience a constant state of flow, dive into the ground and walls, slice through the air and enemies. Wield your brush. Become stronger by unlocking new techniques with your brush that aid you in defeating threatening foes. Overcoming platform challenges, solving complex puzzles, and advancing your progress. Discover yourself. Explore more than six unique biomes, countless secrets, multiple paths, characters, side quests, and collectibles in Constance's non-linear, interconnected inner world. Strive for balance. Using your brush techniques will corrupt your paint. If you become fully corrupted, negative effects await you, so be wary. Anyway, what do you say we get into it? What? Oh, that was weird. I mean, I needed to hold that. So left, right. So I'm using my D-pad here, but my stick works too, but I prefer D-pad. Okay. So right triggers dash. Look at that. That's so neat. You basically just turn into paint. Oh. Oh, wait. The Steam page did say something about corruption, didn't it? Careful. Using abilities costs paint. You've used up all your paint and are now corrupted. What the hell does that mean? In this state, using abilities will drain your health. Oh, wait for your paint reservoir to refill. How long is that? Oh, cool. Because it just completely redraws the icon in the top left corner. And it's animated the whole time. It's just this kind of liquid flowing circle. That's neat. Okay, so now we know what happens if we use our abilities too much anyway that's a nice touch who's this what the heck is this guy it huh I actually had to lean into my screen to get a closer look I have no idea what this guy is it looks kind of like a I, I don't know <laughs> his name is Bertram Oh, hello there. Nice to see you. Or nice to see a friendly face. I'm Bertram. Maybe you can help me. I'm looking for a woman with purple... <laughs> um, buddy. Oh. I figured it out. Wait. It, it, it's you. Silly me. Okay, so they told me to tell you... Oh, what was it? What's that? Oh, that must be just like an aside or just whispering to himself, the smaller text. Was it the academy? Yes, go to the academy. But be careful. The path ahead is infested with weird creatures. They scare me. Good luck out there. Now, how do I get out of here? Oh boy, they sent... They sent this guy to pick me up? Press X to attack. Okay, yeah, that doesn't look like it uses paint. That's good. Hey, to jump. Oh, so... Well, that's neat. Wait a minute. Can I stay in... Oh. So I was trying to see if I could stay in air just by making successive attacks that actually hit something, but... I don't want to get further ahead from the tutorial. Whoa! Okay, what do I do now? That doesn't do anything. Whoa, what's that? 
like a longer range attack. Short, long. That's like twice the distance. Uh huh. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. That just makes the. This makes a different sound. Oh wow. The game introduces me to a secret, like, right away. I guess it's not really a secret when it's the way to get out of here. Now, I do want to check one thing, if if the dash will actually work by... Okay. It can just go through people, that's fine. Oh, okay, that's something I wanted to check too. Lowest jump. Medium jump. Is there a higher one? Okay, so we can control our jump height. That's good. Let's just quickly see what happens if we hit spikes. Okay, so it just resets. Use right trigger to evade. Oh. Oh, that's annoying. It sends them in different directions. Let's try and corner one of these. Whoa. Oh, I can't get that one. Oh, snap. Oh, well. RT to dive and dash. Um, yeah, okay. Wait, what was that? What was that? Some kind of white, cloudy thing. It's just like the same color as her robe. And her health bar. Wait, hang on a second. Let's look at that for a second. So we've got the purple bar, which is paint. White one, I'm assuming, is health. I didn't really look at it when I stepped into the... Um, oh, spikes. But I'm assuming that's health. And there's a white dot beside it. Well, it's not really white. It's like a cream color, but... <laughs> hmm. I don't know what that's for. <laughs> this just... <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I gotta say something about this. This looks completely out of place. <laughs> I get, I get, it, it's very on the nose. I get why it's here. It's just like in all of the scenery and it is gorgeous. I, I do like the scenery so far. And then you've got what looks like a futuristic uh, construction sign. Something you'd see in like, I don't know, like a cyberpunk or something. I just, I, I find it amusing, but that's, that's my sense of humor. <laughs> Wait, what does that say beside that white dot? right bumper and maybe that's extra health I'll I'll use it if I need it but I don't want to waste it right now <sighs> it's like a dream like a, this just I really like how this looks but the score died away the music's gone hmm What is that? Is that the... Am I looking at the front or back of something? I can't tell. <laughs> Sorry. That voice took me by surprise. It's very deep. How long ago did that bubbly fellow leave? No matter. So, my dear Academy... Oh, I'm sorry, words are hard today. So, my dear Academy is currently under construction. Between all that chaos and my focus on work, I... Well... Uh, my notes. I really need them to finish the research. It is of vital importance. Understood? Good. So, get in there and find them. I believe one of my assistants might know where they are. 
However, with this creeping darkness lately, many of my colleagues are no longer, let's say, communicative. Hmm. Creeping darkness. Hmm. Worrisome times. Well, no matter. My work is imperative. Just find my notes. Off you go now. You know what he reminds me of? Um, what was that species from Mass Effect? They look like elephants. The Elcor. The guys who are always, who don't know how to, uh, they don't know how to convey emotion through their voice. So they always start off by saying what their emotion is that they're trying to express and then their dialogue. I remember there's this one where he's, there's this, oh, it's in the first game. It's in Mass Effect 1 where you're, going through the embassies, it's like at the very beginning, and there's one where there's an Elcor and a Volus, and he says one thing that just, the first time I hear it, every single time I play the game afterwards, it just makes me laugh, where he says to the Volus, who's just being a jerk, he's like, chastising rebuke, and then he just lays into him. Chastising rebuke, your tone is inappropriate, Dan. Chastising remark, don't be so rude, Dan. Chastising rebuke, Dan. Chastising rebuke, Dan. Dismissive. What's this? This looks like the place, the same place that we started. So this must be like a resting spot. So maybe a checkpoint. Did it say game save? Oh, it did. Bottom right hand corner. Press B to use your paint slab or stab. Why is that in the bottom right-hand corner? Every other tutorial thing's been in, like, the center of the screen. Press L to stab up, down, left, or right. Oh, you can stab up. So... So we can go up. Oh, that's gonna be handy. Oh, so this is... So it's interesting. It's like a, a desaturated door. So we're probably gonna... I wonder if we're gonna just... <laughs> shit. I wonder if we're going to see... more of this throughout the game where you have to basically just restore color to the world. What's in here? Oh, I thought that was in the background. Okay, well, we can... Yep, yeah, okay. That looks, that looks wrong. Up above. Why is there a light source coming from a wall? And why is there a platform there? There's gotta be a secret. Yep. One of those things. Can I hit them? Can I jump off of them? Oh shit. To dash into them? What? Oh. <laughs> okay. Um. No. Uh. Nope. Okay. I'm nearly dead. Oh wait, hang on. Okay, so that is a health reservoir but it doesn't really it feels like maybe half and i don't really want to die but is there anything nothing else nothing else actually does anything so maybe i just i don't have what it takes to use this yet and i don't remember from the trailer how to you know what let's just put a pin in this because we're still going through the tutorial and my health is really low. Oh! Oh, so we have a limited ability to see around us. Um, using the right analog. I just instinctively do this now. I'll just see if I can look anywhere beyond. So nothing down there. What's this? New technique unlocked. Lightning stroke. Tap, left trigger to slice through hooks. Oh, okay. 
and enemies consumes paint. It would have been handy to have... Oh, look at that. Oh. Oh, shoot. I have to watch my corruption meter. Or the, the, not corruption meter, but I have to watch my paint levels because that ability uses paint. But it's pretty straightforward. You just have to give it a little bit of direction. Actually, no, you don't. Not a big deal, I guess. It, oh, shit. Princess. So decide, decide whether to resume from where you fell or return to your last meditation point. Oh, okay. Um, well, let's see what happens when we spend money. Oh, wow. I have a sliver of health. So they put me back pretty much to where I was before. Ay. The first area with these hooks, I want to get back to that, but that means I have to go up, so. Yeah, it was here. Okay. What? Oh, shit. Do I need a dash at the end? Okay, so you have like a half a second to pick the direction that you want to go in. That's weird, because the first ones that you find, it you just pretty much press left trigger and it'll send you automatically. But these ones you have to direct a little bit more, which is what I would have expected. So, okay, either way. Left bumper. This guy's new. <laughs> these voices are funny. Uh, greetings, fellow traveler. Welcome to my humble establishment. What was next? First, the warm, warm welcome. I guess make them want your wares. <laughs> is, I'm sure you were in dire need of some wares. Well, seek no further. In my shop, you'll find everything your heart desires. So fragments are our currency and we have 66. Two options here, collect three heart fragments to increase maximum health. Which I feel like is something I would definitely need. Or a health file stores excess health for later use. Ooh. Well, excess health is not a problem I really have to deal with in this game so far. Like I'm, I already a third dead. So let's, oh, let's get this. Hmm. Whoa, shit. <laughs> well, that's one way of doing it. I'm still not used to directing those. Um, but we'll get there. Oh, shoot. You gave, you're you giving me options? Okay. What? Oh, damn it. What the hell? Maybe I need to use this. Oh, wait, is this a health thing? New inspiration found. Open your journal with that button. Oh, that's not it. It says. I guess this is as good a time as any to go through this stuff. Uh, so we've got inspirations. Hmm. So what are they? Tax refund. So we have two right now. Tax refund. Enemies have a small chance to drop two jot crystals. Oh, that must be those ones that we found from enemies. And inner focus. Fully recharge your health when meditating. Oh, that's an ability? That's an inspiration? Hmm. And we've also got our map. Map is still under development. You can use the right stick to open one in-game. Okay, fair enough. Oh, okay. That's cool. It's okay. 
playing a game called Constance. It's a nice looking hand drawn Metroidvania game. Where am I? Oh, what's this? What the hell? Do you... I'm, I'm a little concerned here. Oh, shoot. Let's go back to the meditation point. Wait a second. Oh, okay. I think I, little, I understand a little bit more about how these things work. The angle that you come at it with kind of determines what direction you're going to go. So you watch the little arrow and it moves with me. So if I go this way, it'll... Okay. Whereas if I do this, it'll take me straight down. Well, not straight down, but... So if I drop... Okay, I'm getting a handle on this now. That's probably a better strategy. Let's just jump when he lands, just like Flame Mammoth in Mega Man X2. So I'm going to try and come in straight underneath this so that it shoots me right up top and then dash to the left. Let's see if I can execute this. Yep. Okay. Ooh, a meditation spot. I still have your journal. Oh yeah, so now we can pick our inspiration. So can we only pick one at a time? No, we can pick multiple. And that black space, I guess we unlock by leveling up or finding something. Probably later on. It's over here first. Whoa. Oh, what the hell? We got a new bad guy. That's got quite a range. Holy crap. We wait until we're close and then we can just dash through them and wind up on the other side. The only problem is that right now the other side is just... Oh. Or we could just do that. That works. Oh. It's a really neat way of beating these guys. <laughs> I kind of like that. Oh, that's new. What's that? Is that... Hmm. Okay, I can't dash through that. What? Wave stream. I don't know what to call it, but... That will actually take me up. There we go. Well, he's... Oh, what's this? This looks like... We've got a music change. We've got doors locking. This is a boss fight. Whoa. Maybe a mid boss fight or something. Oh, this doesn't show me where in the room I am. It just shows me that I'm in this room. I wonder if that's going to change. So, okay, so we know that those symbols, the one on the on the right of the character icon, that means meditation. What does the one on the left mean? It should be a way into there from here, but this is locked, so I have to find whatever switch unlocks it, unless it's just not part of the demo. But I would think that the switch for it would be in this room. Did I miss it? Yeah, because I think I went through that doorway. I don't think I explored up here. Hmm. There's something there. 
What is this? Whoa, 30 shards? Nice. Oh, back here. Let's see if I can do repeat this. Oh, shoot. Wait a second. Wait a second. There's something there. Oh. Huh. We got a heart fragment. I like that this game is giving me secrets already. It's like it's showing me that... It's giving me an idea of how to find secrets in this game. I kind of like that. Can I just say, like, I'm a, I'm a big fan of Hit Stagger. Even if it's, like, just super subtle. I love Hit Staggers. It just makes the attacks feel like they've got weight. Oops. Oh, no, I can go out here. What's this? We found a new inspiration. It's a man in a mask with a very similar looking brush. Is that a father figure? Precision brush. Your attacks have a small chance to hit critically for double damage. Nice. Is there anything more? Only one way to find out. Nope. I'm really liking this method of getting around. Now that I've got it at least partially figured out. <laughs> Sucker. Oh man, I didn't realize it's almost 9 o'clock. Well, 9 o'clock my time. I've been playing this for an hour and I didn't even feel the time pass. I guess that's a good thing. Is that a health thing up there? Oh. I guess it was. I've been seeing these around. This little, like, gleaming droplets. I don't know how to refer to them. I wonder if these are significant in some way. Like, are, am I going to be able to do something with these later? Or it's, it's right on that borderline of, like, a subtle effect versus something that is involved in a game mechanic. I don't know. It, it's right on that line. It's going to drive me nuts, but I don't think there's anything I can do with it just yet. Oh, wait, you're right. Aw, it's under construction. Oh, damn. Just keep moving. Seems to be the way to defeat those ones. There we go. Actually don't need to get to it, right? I should be able to paint stab it from here. New inspiration. What is it? Copycat. Using aerial dash spawns a burst of paint projectiles that deal moderate damage. Oh, I like that. Okay, I, I go. I got it now. I know what it is. Okay. Let your paint meter catch up. In here. All right. What's that? Is it more that way, is there? Okay. Paint fragment. Maximum amount of paint increased. That's cool. I am okay with that. Okay. Uh oh. Oh, wow. 
How many times do I have to tell you to stop this? What are you even trying to achieve here? You're not in control, girl. I am. Perhaps a demonstration might be in order. The Awe King. Uh oh. So you just transport around. What else do you do? Is that it? Whoa. Oh shit. This is, a, this is the first boss in the game. It's pretty tough, actually. But again, I don't have a book on this guy, so... That part? Okay, I have a good idea of what to do there. I apologize, I'm, I'm not really talking right now. I, like I said, I'm just kind of absorbed in this game and I think that's a good sign. I'm, I'm getting frustrated, but it's just because my gameplay is crappy. Oh, wait a second. There's a meditation spot up there. Oh wait, this is, this is the beginning of the game. This is like the, the start of the academy. I guess that was one of those doors that I couldn't get through. Okay, this is better. We can equip some of these. Copycat. And your attacks have a small chance to hit critically for double damage. Oh. Hmm. Okay, so we have to organize these in such a way where they all fit. But I don't think I can get them all to fit. No. Oops. Okay, so let's start with the biggest one. And then fully recharge your health when meditating. Yes. My copycat. I don't really care about the crystals right now. Okay, here we go. It's go time. <laughs> we got different dialogue. Get through that. Some of these abilities, some of his abilities, I can't seem to dash through.
Oh, we got him. That's weird, because he usually disappeared right away. But there he stayed down, so we just did some ground and pound and took him out. Which is a shame, because I really like that song. <laughs> What's this? He found Vincent's notes. Return them to him to conclude the demo. Yep. Vincent's this way, right? I guess that's what that symbol means. Quest, uh, somewhere to return the quest to. Some meditation for good measure. We need to meditate on the boss that we just defeated. Hello, Vincent. Hello, Vincent. Hmm? It's you again. What? You actually found my notes. Well, you have my thanks. Er, as soon as these constructions here are done. Make sure to come visit again, yes? There's still lots to do. Oh, I didn't know I was going to be timed. <laughs> Congratulations, you finished the constant demo. Thank you so much for playing. Your time, one hour, 19 minutes, 31 seconds. <laughs> Let's leave it down to the millisecond. Um, well, thousands, I guess. Thousands of a second. We would like to follow the development of the game or give feedback on the demo. We'd love to welcome you on our Discord. So yeah, that was Constance, and I kind of really enjoyed it. I've been playing a lot of good Metroidvania platformers lately, and they all offer something a little bit different. Whether it's art design, music, gameplay or interesting mechanics and this game definitely has interesting mechanics and it's funny that I don't know why I had such a hard time with with the enemies in this game I felt like I was playing terribly but I don't know I'll have to rewatch it because it's just the way that they move and the way that they knock back especially those um I don't know, black hole dudes that just kind of suck you in they always seem to be inconveniently placed around spikes, and as soon as you hit one of them, you reset, and it's ugh. But the answer to that, I guess, is get good. So, yeah. I really like this. 